Okay, I was just looking over here at um, this dragon area where that big long vein was. You see this here? You see this? Follow this around in a circle. You see this little wrinkly thing here, and you see the different colors here? At first I thought that must be something from Google, but it isn't. These are the actual colors of this area, and I believe this is tendon. That ball is the anchor where these tendons anchor in with a ball. And then you have some real strappy stuff, and then it goes into the fleshy area, virtually identical to this. There's a ball right there. Right there. And then you have this strappy looking stuff, and then you go into flesh. And it's exactly like this on the bottom of a chicken. I'm not kidding you. Now, I, at first I thought that's just color variation, but it isn't. This here won't grow. That's tendon. This grows fine because it's flesh. You can't grow something in tendon. Tendon just doesn't grow stuff. And that's that tendon, as far as I'm concerned, that's the tendon coming right off this flap here. There's the ball right there. And it is, it's a ball right there and has a wrinkle zone right here just like that. And then it flares out and grabs onto the flesh that it's going onto. Now this appears to be another one over right in this area. Another tendon thing, because nothing will grow here either. You see that? That's not just like somebody cut all these trees down. There's a little flick here and a flick there, but not like on the abrupt transition edges. This is, is in my opinion, is virtually 100% tendon, which has no blood in it. That's the key. They don't have any blood. You need red blood to make things grow green. I'm thinking that's the latch, and that's the tendon anchor. And then it goes into the fleshy stuff, and where it goes from there, I have no idea. But this is Dragon, Utah. And that's where they found all that um, asphaltite or whatever. I believe that's what they... It's, it's like an asphalt, but it's from vein blood. Uh, here's the United States. And this, this whole thing here, these are all guts. I'm just telling you right now, these are guts. This is the most guts place I've seen in a long time. You see all these transitions? That's just not by accident. All these transition colors, that's the colors of blood. This area has been, I think, I, I had thought, somebody tipped me off and said, take a look and see, maybe that's where it got hit by Venus. And I think they're right. I believe that that's what's going on here. This area was just smashed to smithereens and all the guts came pouring out. And that's what this stuff is. These are guts. I know it's very difficult to, for the human mind to perceive this. But that's exactly what this has to, you know, in my opinion, this is exactly what this is. All blood vessels and bloody tissue and ripped up torn up viscera. These are all transition metals. You see this? These colors aren't just by accident. You see that? Now, what part of the creature it was, I have no idea. But these little things like this here, these things just don't happen by accident, one right after the other after the other. This is some kind of a, it either excreted something or it absorbed something. But this whole area is just stunning biology. Look at that. And that's the way bodies are built. They're just, the, what's inside of us, you can't even imagine until you start really looking. And the best way to see it, 
is in gigantic like this. Because you can see every little detail. Look at, all, look at all this stuff. Look at this. That's exactly what you find in a creature's body. These kind of little zigzaggy things. That lets your whole body do this and that and squish and do and do. And you got all that to play with. All that stretchy gooey stuff to play with. And that's something. It's pretty amazing, my friends. And uh, look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my God. Wow. Look at the layers of whatever. It, it's, I, 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 I don't know what to make of this. It's just over the top stunning. But it appears to be something torn up, not just eroded. But I can't say that for sure either. Look at this. That's some kind of organ. This whole thing. And it's got... Nobody built this, this membrane here, I don't think. You tell me what you think. You see that? That's a membrane. That is a membrane surrounding this organ. Whatever this organ was, let's follow the membrane. It comes up around. there's another membrane around here. Now that, I can't explain it exactly, but I, it looks to me like there's, well, I can tell you what, that's like the Great Wall of China, but I'll tell you, it's some kind of, let's, let's see if we can figure out how, if this is a valley or a hill. I can see it's a hill, I'm almost certain. Now, well, I know I can see it is for sure. Let's come down here at the bottom. This is elevation 1438 meters. We come up here to the top, it's 1518 meters. So it's about 80, 90 meters. That's, let's say 80 meters. It's 250 feet up, straight up that hill, till you get to the top of whatever this membrane was. Now, let's look at it here. Does that look natural to you, like a natural sort of? That is a dragon's membrane. That's a dragon's membrane. And you see these little stripes here? That's exactly how the toughest stuff in us is made. In these little stripes. Tendons. Only here, they are in dragon scales. Look at this. This is phenomenal. And that is the membrane. Look at it all the way around. This whole thing is a membrane. And all this little blocky stuff allows it to twist and, you know, jiggle and pump. It could be a bladder or who knows what it is. But I'm telling you, this is the inside of the guts of some enormous creature. And they were enormous. There's just nothing you can say about it anymore. That's, that's a done deal now. There is no denying it. Look at this one here, over here. Look at that. Oh my God. Look at a block here, a block here, a block here. A block, a block. Whatever it is, it's biological. No. <clears throat> I, didn't, I don't think anybody can disagree with this anymore. It's just, it's, it's just too overwhelming to deny anymore. Look at this. These are all layers of membranes. That's a layer. That's a layer. That's a layer. These are all abrupt transitions. 
which separate things from other things in the human body, well, in anybody, I, I, I don't think this is a human body, I don't know. I have no idea. There were gigantic things on the earth that is absolutely no question, and I found them in my backyard. That's how I started into this. When I had it in my hands, I, there was no question about it. It was absolutely undeniable, and it was being denied by everyone. And it still is, basically. But to dismiss this and say, oh, I don't see anything, I, I would find that person to be 100% incompetent or a, a fraud or a liar or whatever you want to call it. Because this is, anybody that has any abilities to understand biology or abrupt transitions, different chemistry, different, I mean, just come on. Please, let's discuss what we're seeing. Look at that. Explain that one to me. All right? Okay, my friends, I don't want to be nasty, but this guy's a geologist, and he's saying, what is this? And then he explains what it is by saying this is erosion cutting down, and it may look like a dragon, but it's not really a dragon, it's just erosion. Well, that's just not true. Okay, my friends, I don't want to be nasty or anything, but I can't believe that somebody can see this and just say, oh, this is just erosion. And then uh, this guy points to all over the world, we have these same patterns, so they're just obviously erosion. No, they're just obviously dragons all around the world. All right, this is from my friend Revo Hannibal. And he's, people are all starting to laugh at geologists, I mean hysterical laughter, really. That this is just erosion and that these colors of body fluids and flesh mean nothing and these patterns are just something washed away and these patterns of erosion, they're calling them, I mean, just natural and they just happen everywhere. They don't mean anything. Well, that's just not true. All right, anybody who's been following me has seen this hundreds of times, literally. I found this in about 2015, and this is the dragon in the desert. And it's actually Typhon. He's called out exactly in the ancient texts. He was attacking this gigantic fish. It's exactly what it says in the ancient texts. Typhon, who his head often brushed the stars, they say, was attacking the gods who turned themselves into animals and Ares turned into a fish. And these are the scales of a dragon, just exactly like they were showing here in, in our midway. They're, they were everywhere, literally everywhere on earth. Those are dragon scales. That's the scale, the dragon scaled throat. You see this? This is the dragon's throat. And it runs all the way across North Africa. He's dead in a desert and fleshy fluids are leaking out here. But his throat was cut right here. And that is also spoken of exactly in the ancient texts. We have to reconsider these ancient texts. They just are not meaningless. They are very full of meaning. And we've missed everything because we've been listening to these geologists make up silly stories. I mean, it's just silly when you listen to it. It's actually hysterical. But, those are the people in charge. All right, you have Google Earth, I'm sure, so you can come up and look at this dragon, but look at his head and his red flared eye, which they talk about in Apollodorus, spitting a stream of noxious fluids to kill the fish below. And there's his throat, runs all the way down across North Africa, Africa. This is the body of the dragon right here. These are his legs, and that's the tail. And that's some more dragon scales out here. It is what it is. There were dragons in the earth in those days. Every culture had the same story. There was dragons, there was gods, there was monsters. There was battles in the heavens. That's a gigantic fish. And this fluid melted the scales on the fish's back, and we can see the arteries and the blood vessels and the veins and the arteries and the capillaries and the lymphatic system and everything. 
There's no mystery here, not a bit of mystery whatsoever. It's just too much for the average human mind to take into account. And when I say they're everywhere, they are literally everywhere. I mean, I have people tell me all the time, look into this. I did. I looked into it. I, that's, I'm sure that's another dragon. And the body runs right up the coast here. And right in here, this is all where all the guts are. And that's starting to decompose now and starting a lot of activity in this area. And then not only we have that, we have Quetzalcoatl up here, very well described and pictures of him and everything. And there he is right there. That's his head. This is his hair, uh, headdress. There's his beards. There's his throat running all the way up, straight up through there, you see? And it wraps all the way around and goes all the way up the east coast. And these are his feathers. All the way up the east coast. Those are feathers. Those are not mountains. Well, they are now, but they were feathers at one time. And that's why they're so green. They're called the green mountains because feathers make things grow extremely green. So this, uh, it just has to be taken into account. And making up these silly stories is, I can't believe that, that uh, this guy would do this and claim himself to be a geologist. And, and re he refuses to engage with me. This is Myron. And, um, I mean, I have Scorbzillo over here running all the way up the north coast here, all the way up to his pincher. There was things that they, they described all these things in the ancient texts, and they are correct. They were true. And we just can't handle it. We just cannot handle this. And the people that can't handle it are the ones that we put in charge of trying to teach us what to believe. And they're just making things up. It's just nonsense at this point. Absolute nonsense.